Okay, so now this video is uploading. What I wanted to talk about in this video is labels of the big foods over here. Let's just talk about Purina Cat Chow Naturals. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds natural. Minus the fact of plus vitamins and minerals. No, no. no you don't want to see that. You want to know why? Because if you're having a diet that is species appropriate, those vitamins and minerals are already going to be in the food. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. First five ingredients. Now, generally when they, they think they snowball you, when they give you a, a meat as the first ingredient, but what you have to realize is meat is mostly water. So, when you have meat as, as the first ingredient, that's good. Problem is, is if it's followed second, third, fourth, and fifth by other things that are not meat, now that becomes the majority of the food. For instance, chicken byproduct meal. Well, first off, chicken is great. Chicken meal is, is great. It's basically chicken powdered down, dehydrated and powdered down so they can make a kibble. Chicken byproduct meal is whatever it is. Beaks, feathers, nails, whatever. Anything that's not human grade consumption meat, it is the, the secondary things of that, is byproduct. So it could be anything. It could be the fucking eyes, the nose, the, the feathers, nails, beaks, whatever it is. Chicken byproduct meal. So we're starting off bad. Corn gluten meal. Oh, that's great. Not that corn holds many nutrients anyway. But now we're going to give you corn gluten meal, which is essentially the stuff that is there after all of the nutrients are extracted. So now essentially you've got a filler, provides no nutritional value, very, very allergenic. Soy flour. Because, mm. you know, cats and dogs need soy. Ground whole wheat and brewer's rice. Okay, so now we've got loaded, loaded with carbohydrates. Loaded with carbohydrates. Uh, I mean, and down here you've got some dried spinach. Salt. i make it palatable. Um, magnesium, magnesium sulfate. Uh, oh, all the vitamins, they're listed down here, way at the bottom. Vitamin A supplement. I mean, it's not natural, but it's added too. Vitamin B12 supplement. Oh, added too. So they're synthetic. They're not even natural vitamins in here anymore. So plus vitamins and minerals that are synthetic. That are not natural. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, so that's not as bad as some might get, like with the Meow Mix. ground corn okay so now we're gonna start off we're not even gonna start off with uh, a meat we're gonna start off with a grain now because you know cats and dogs they're not carnivores right though well, dogs are scavengers cats are obligate carnivores chicken byproduct meal so now it's not <laughs> it's not a chicken byproducts which is the beaks and the and stuff. Now it's a meal. So now it's a cheaper version of anything that could possibly have contained some sort of nutrition. Definitely gone by this point, but we're gonna stuff it in some pet food. Corn gluten meal. I told you what that is. Soybean meal. I told you what that is. Animal fat. Mixed with preserved or preserved with mixed tocopherols. That's in the in the nature's logic also. That's sprayed on the outside to make it palatable. Because dogs and cats will chase fat as a protein source. So now, yellow number six and yellow number five. Minerals, but it's not saying what it is. Natural white meat chicken flavor. 
here's the problem that I have with this. By the way, it's not natural white meat chicken, natural white meat chicken flavor. So it's chemicals that are added together to someone decided, oh, this tastes like white meat chicken. The problem is, this is the last ingredient. BHA. Plastic. That's what it is. BHA. Plastic. So now plastic is in pet foods. You love your little ones, that should really make you upset. So now we go to science diet. One of the worst foods on the market. Chicken. First ingredient, remember though. It's weighed in this raw form. So what the next four is what the majority of this bag is. Whole grain wheat, corn gluten meal, pork fat, chicken meal, chicken liver flavor. Again, so not chicken liver where all the vitamins and stuff are, or a lot of vitamins and stuff are. Chicken liver flavor. So again, chemicals added together to go, hmm, this tastes like chicken liver. Taste of the wild. Chicken meal, which is good. Peas, sweet potatoes, chicken fat, preserved with mixed cofferols, pea protein. Okay, so, my major problem with this food, I don't know why it's more expensive. It's loaded with proteins, though. So I think it's for weight gain, which is what I'm going to use for him, because I want him to bulk up a little bit. Um, it's grain-free, but I just don't like the sources of, well, technically a sweet potato is a grain, I think. But, so I don't know if it's actually grain-free. I think sweet potatoes are grain. No, actually it's not. Never mind. I feel stupid for saying that. It's been a long couple couple weeks, a long two and a half months trying to fight to get my cat back. <sighs> so that those ingredients are okay. They feel a lot of But they're natural ingredients. The big difference is five pounds of this is gonna run you twenty bucks. Three pounds of each one of those generally going to run you about six bucks. So there is a price difference. Big price. <clears throat> big price difference. I did not get any of the big bags for free. I got the little bag of science diet for free. Blue Buffalo. Here we go. This is the food that I tend to stick with. It's a very good brand. d -boom chicken. Chicken meal. Mended in fish meal. A source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, brown rice and barley. So now this is not grain free. Um, I think that's actually the reason why I was considering mixing that with the Taste of the Wild. Is because the Taste of the Wild is grain free. This isn't. Okay. Taste of the Wild has tons of protein. This has tons of protein. Um, I want to feed him a diet, but I want the grain in his diet. Because grain also builds up fat, which then turns into muscle based off the exercise of the human or animal or whatever. I want to, uh, him to be a strong, healthy cat. So I want him to have some grain. I also want him to have the grain-free food because it's packed with protein, even more than this is. This is 32% um, percent protein. That is 42%. That is packed with protein, but it's grain-free. This has a lower amount of protein, still packed with it, but it um, it's not grain-free. And I want him to have both grain and high protein. So I'm gonna be mixing these two bags so that he gets both. And I think that's what I'm going to make his regular diet. So I'm going to be spending about this bag right here, three pounds, costing me about it was a fourteen bucks. That's five pounds, and it costed me twenty dollars. 
It's gonna cost me eighteen dollars or something like that. So no, it's costing me ten dollars. Sorry. So every two weeks, I'm gonna be spending about thirty, about twenty dollars, twenty five dollars on um, on uh, foods. And uh, I'm gonna shoot a third video because I hit the dog shoot uh, freaking out upstairs. I'm gonna go see what happens. Peace, summer cowboy. Later, deuces.